Homestead Miami Speedway, home of the final race of the NASCAR Sprint Cup Series season. To win it all, everything has to go your way. Anything can happen out on the racetrack. But you have to have faith in your ability. No matter what. Incredible driving by Carl Edwards in the 99. You've got to stay strong through the hard times. And you've got to fight for every position. And Carl Edwards is slicing his way through this field. Guys, this car is perfect. Gain the advantage by outthinking your opponents in the pits. Man, that is a great strategy, guys. Edwards takes two tires and comes out right behind Stewart. Great stop. And at the very end, be ready to seize your chance. Here comes Edwards. Tries to go high, but Stewart blocks. This is going to be a close one. Edwards takes it. Carl Edwards is the new NASCAR Sprint Cup Series champion. History can be rewritten. How's it going, guys? Welcome to NASCAR The Game, Inside Line, but 10 years later. Now, you might be wondering, wait a minute, wait a minute, this game was released in 2012. Well, I make the rules here. This game was released in November of 2012. It is currently July of 2023. We don't round up years. Under the technical inspection of my rules, it has been 10 years, not 11. It has not been 11 years yet. It has to be a full 11 years once you get to November of 2023 currently it's still 10 which is why we have the title of the video nascar inside line or nascar the game inside line uh but 10 years later welcome back ladies and gentlemen to another video if you're new to this channel make sure you subscribe uh and make sure you follow me on twitter and something already because you guys are the best and i want to give a shout out to all the patreon members as always for supporting the channel uh you guys have been amazing as we um <clears throat> go through more of the classic games as the current nascar gaming genre is absolutely garbage but uh we're coming back to nascar the game inside line because it's been a very long time since i've been on it if you have been long time viewers of this channel you will know that this is probably my second favorite um in terms of like modern kind of modern nascar games because obviously 2012 was a very long time ago NASCAR 9 was number one. Uh, this is number two because this, again, was the rejuvenation of online NASCAR racing. And I was able to get with a lot of my friends again from the NASCAR 9 community on this game. Uh, it was NASCAR 2011 that really kind of broke everything. That game sucked. But this game was very underrated and very good uh i actually really 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 enjoyed this game um so it does have the 2012 rosters 2012 cars so the boxy car of tomorrow is here but it was actually a really good game like xbox live worked the multiplayer worked <clears throat> there was um a few little issues with like laggy and buggy stuff but but it, it was really good met a lot of friends um and you know reconnected a lot of friends on there um in the single player you have race now you have track testing of single season you can do the uh the chase for the cup as well right i'm pretty sure yeah chase for the cup in 2012 you can do that if you wanted to um you could also do the race now uh in the challenges mode i think i have done these before so i'm not going to do them again but you had um head to head challenges so it's like the team of the driver you wish to race against there's apparently 428 challenges which uh that seems like way too much oh, that's why you have to literally beat jeff burton's lap time and every other driver's lap time at a stupid amount of time so if you want content you have 428 hot laps essentially to do uh you are out of your mind if you think i'm doing all this there's no amount of likes no amount of subscribers no amount of comments no amount of money that you can give me genuinely that would make me do 400 this would literally take if I had to do a live stream on this, I think it would take two days, two full days, maybe even longer. I don't even know. Uh, that's ridiculous. Um, and then you have the highlights, which are just the normal challenges. Now, the fun thing about these highlights, if you they're on my channel somewhere. Uh, unfortunately, I can't do the 2013 one because I would need the DLC, which I don't have because the servers are down. These highlights are genuinely like the, the cars are on the same exact line as they were in real life. So it's a very unique type of way of doing it. We have done these before on the channel, though, so I'm not going to go back and do them again. But uh, that is what is going on here in the highlight section. Uh, in the My NASCAR section, this is actually really cool if you don't remember. So you have leaderboards. This was for, for online, uh, which was definitely you wanted to, like, you know, make sure you were the top. 
Uh, you had pins, so you could use these pins on your, um, it was like a, on your online profile, essentially. I think there was more than just world flags. I'm pretty sure there was, but, uh, for now I can't really see more than that. You have online race results, you have photos, you can save a photo, and you can also save a replay if you want. Then you have something called Ticket Exchange. Now, Ticket Exchange, I don't remember exactly what it was, but I'm pretty sure you would get something... I don't really... I, you know what? Actually, I don't remember. Don't remember what Ticket, ticket Exchange was all about. Um, in the settings, you have controls, game settings, driver sound, credits, and all that stuff. In the rewards, this was actually really cool. So you have race shop items. So, you know, you're in a race shop, right? So this is... this menu screen, this UI, whatever, you're in a race shop. Very similar to NASCAR 08, NASCAR 09, just smaller. You know, you have people walking around and it's like one little little thing. But uh, you have these items that w w you could buy. So for, um, what is that, 900,000 credits, you get you gain credits pretty easily, so it's not a lot. For 900,000 credits, you could put a racing helmet there. You could put a die-cast NASCAR toy. You could put the neon NASCAR sign. Now, all of these I don't currently have, so they're not actually in the shop. You get this Newton's Cradle thing, you get a, a baseball cap, you get a wall clock, you get a Phoenix Cactus, Sprint Cup mug, a Blue Angel Jet for some reason, Casino Dice, because if you want to gamble, why not? A Cowboy Hat, of course, Richard Petty. Uh, designer Shades, which, I mean, those actually look pretty cool, I'm not going to lie. Um, a Brickyard Brick, which you definitely, you're going to have to win the Brickyard to actually want that race. It's, I mean, it is what it is. Uh, Indianapolis 500 mile race, 100th anniversary. Um, I mean, it, it's the Brickyard 400. Maybe maybe that's actually from the Indy 500. So we have an IndyCar Easter egg in, in NASCAR Inside Line. I don't really know about that. But eh. a laptop, which cool. Uh, Miles the Monster is in here for a million credits. Miles the Monster is a million credits. This one little guy is a million credits. It's crazy. Uh, he doesn't have the car in his hand. Uh, a TV, and, and that is it. If you back out... None of that stuff is in the shop, and you could, you could venture around the shop as you go through the menu screens. You can see I don't have any of that. None of that's here. It doesn't exist. Whatever. So that was actually really cool. That was a cool thing. And then you have pro driver setups. So uh, you could basically buy these setups, and and apparently they're they're from from the real life setups. Now I don't know how true that was back in the day, but. I mean, they were just advanced setups, basically, that you could use. Uh, I think there was a total of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 10. There was 10 pro setups, Pocono, Richmond, all, all, that, all that stuff. It will tell you what to do. Then you have the custom schemes. Um, so you can buy these paint schemes, and then in the paint booth, you could make different cars. So you have Green Machine. You have the Radioactive, which is basically the GoDaddy scheme. Um, go faster, K and N, Excite batteries, Menards, all these stuff. So you you have to actually purchase these though. Again, I don't have enough credits to buy any of this, but you would be able to purchase these, and then you would be able to you know do what you want in terms of the um, in terms of the what's it called uh, uh, paint booth. Now, uh, as you can see, that I think it w I will say it's not the exact thing, but you have the the delivery because obviously this neon p thing is the same as this GoDaddy paint scheme over here, which is radioactive, it's just the livery itself. They're just showing you examples of it. So, um, if you want to get all these, then you'd have to like buy them and stuff. And you can actually make some pretty cool paint schemes. I'm pretty sure on this game. And people did make a lot of really cool paint schemes on here. Uh, so that was definitely really, really cool. There's a lot of them too. You can see I'm still going. There's, there's plenty. So there, there's definitely a lot in there. So basically, this game you had so much to do because you, uh, you there was no microtransactions. You just raced for credits. And, and you were able to then, you know, do what you want. Speaking of the pins, here we go. Pin pack. So if you wanted uh, a pin pack for NASCAR, pin pack for accolades, pin pack for colors, pin pack for racing, for heads, for drivers, for driver initials, for tracks, and for more world flags, I guess, which I purchased, apparently, uh, for state flags, for sponsors. So you can see, like, a lot of actual content on this game. Uh, then you have decal packs. This is uh, important for, again, the paint booth. So you have the flames, flames, tribal, tribal, again, all this n normal stuff that you could use in making uh, paint schemes. And then you have the code here. There are cheat codes for this game, um, or maybe DLC codes. I'm not sure if they're actually cheat codes. I have to look that up, but I'm pretty sure there are. It's sort of like gaining like a certain amount of credits and stuff, but uh, that's basically that. And then we have a new, sch new scheme. I always sucked at making paint booth schemes, so 
Yeah, never never ideal for me. And that is basically NASCAR the game, or NASCAR the inside line the game. Um, then you have the career mode, which, uh, you know, <laughs> I might I might bring this back. I'm not going to lie. Not on this game, but basically, if you guys remember uh, the underfunded dream, um, it was where basically you don't do any of this. Like, you do not upgrade your car at all, and you just try to beat them. Um, it's a very straightforward career mode. You're always in the Cup Series. You try to race for sponsors that will give you more credits and uh, and all that stuff, and then you try to win a championship. It's pretty straightforward, nothing crazy about it, um, but yeah, all that good stuff there. Let's go do a race real quick and check out the uh, the roster list as well. So you have myself, you have BK Racing with Landon Castle and Travis Quaffle. You have Chip Ganassi Racing with Jamie Mack and Juan Pablo Montoya. Uh, you have Front Row Motorsports with Josh Wise, David Reagan, David Gillen. Uh, Furniture Row with Regan Smith. This is before Martin Trucks Jr. came into that car. Jermaine Racing with the 13 of Casey Mears. You have Hendrick Motorsports, which is Casey, Jeff, Jimmy, and Dale. Uh, Inception Motorsports, which is David Stremme in the 30. JTG Darty Racing and Bobby Labonte in the 47. Joe Gibbs Racing has Denny Hamlin, Kyle Busch, and Joey Logano. Um, one person's missing there, and I'm pretty sure it is... Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Yeah. Uh, so Matt Kenseth of Evangeli goes over there, but isn't there also still one driver missing there? No, Joe Gibbs was still a three-car team at this point. Yeah, Joe Gibbs was still a three-car team before uh, Matt Kenseth comes over the following year, I think it was. Don't exactly remember. Scott Speed in the 95 for Levine Family Racing. Michael Walter Racing in the 15, uh, the 55, and the 56 for Boyer, Martin, and Martin Truex Jr. Uh, Nemco Motorsports in uh, with Joe Nemechek. Penske Racing has Kozlowski and Hornish Jr. That's before Logano goes over to the 22. Um, Phil Parsons Racing, that's a name I've, I haven't seen in a long time, with Michael McDowell. Phoenix Racing with Kurt Busch in the 51. That was a fun year <laughs> for Kurt Busch. Uh, Richard Childress Racing, still a four-car team at this time. And time and at this time, Paul Menard, Kevin Harvick, Jeff Burton, Austin Dillon. Kevin Harvick would leave in two years in 2014 uh, to go join Storehouse Racing. Uh, Marco Sambros and Eric Amarola with uh, Richard Petty Motorsports. Robbie Gordon is in Robbie Gordon Motorsports. Uh, Rash Fenway Race Racing is still a four-car team. They still have Carl Edwards. They still have Matt Kenseth. Stenhouse Jr. is in the six. Biffle in the 16. And then SHR with Danica Patrick, Tony Stewart, and Ryan Newman. Tommy Baldwin Racing has Dave Blaney in the 36. Wood Brothers has Trevor Bain in the 21. And that is the list. I'm going to go ahead and uh, use a car I usually never use. Uh, yeah, I actually want to see what Sam Hunter Jr. got. Look at Sam Hunter Jr. Wow. I only have one paint scheme. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't have a lot of paint schemes, do I? No real surprises in terms of the track. They have all Atlanta Motor Speedway. If you guys have never played this game, Atlanta Motor Speedway is one of the best tracks because of the tire wear. The tire wear on this game was... Excellent. Absolutely excellent. A lot of fun. So, uh, Atlanta, Auto Club, um, what are the tracks? Chicagoland was a lot of fun. Darlington was a lot of fun. Any, essentially, any track with tire wear. Homestead Miami was, was fun. Indianapolis was actually a lot of fun. This around this around On this game, was definitely a lot of fun. Uh, other than that, Richmond. I was really good at Richmond. Richmond was really, uh, really fun as well. Uh, Sonoma, mm, kind of. Talladega, Texas. We're going to go ahead and go to the track that they're actually racing at this weekend, um, which is Michigan. I know it's a random track, but we're going to go there, do a quick little 10, 10, uh, 20, 10, 20 laps, 10% race. We're going to keep the tire wear and fuel use of times two to see if we could get those, the, the tires uh, wearing a little bit. We'll do champion difficulty at champion hard, medium, easy. Uh, we'll do champion difficulty. And uh, you know what? I kind of want to qualify. Uh, you know what? I'm, let's, let's see if I can actually qualify. There's a lot of messing around in the setups for this game. <laughs> At least I remember messing around a lot in the setups, trying to figure out what the hell to use and, and what to do. Um, the setups were very weird. If I, had, if I They're probably still out there on the internet somewhere, but you really had to change a lot of things, like in terms of the ride height uh, in the springs and stuff. They were like really weird, I think. So I'm just going to leave it as is for now because obviously I'm not trying to obliterate the field. But um, yeah, that, that stuff was always nice. And then... A nice change from NASCAR away. You don't need to actually run anything. Like it doesn't matter. You at, at a road course, you could turn on ABS. That that'll you know maybe do something. But uh, I can just leave it in automatic and all that stuff and whatever. And I don't gotta worry about it. I can run this this game with no assists at any track because the physics are actually pretty decent. So that was helpful. And it has this amazing camera view that I love so much. <laughs> God, I love the roof cam. Ah, oh, absolutely wonderful. Um, and yeah, I mean the car has like a heavy weight feel to it. Uh, it has this camera view as well, which if you obviously play iRacing, some of you guys will probably use as well. Uh, and it has it has everything. Look at this boxy COT. Oh, 
absolutely wonderful. Wait, wait, where's my mirror? Uh, mirror, 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 mirror. My mirror is here somewhere. I just have to find out. What the heck? Where's my mirror? Oh, I forgot. I think the mirror is not even available in qualifying. They don't let you use it. Uh, and then another thing about this game that you guys are probably going to find very... Oh, there's the mirror. <laughs> so I was wondering where everything was. Another weird thing about this game. Look, look the slow and brake indicator. Yeah, so that thing was... It was actually very helpful. I'm not going to lie. Because you could kind of... It was like a a judge of when you should, you know, get off throttle and stuff. And I, I, when you practice enough, you'll be able to know exactly... Look at that race car. Oh, beautiful scenes. Let's go through 3 and 4. 207 miles per hour. It's nice to have uh, horsepower, right? And yes, they were actually going this fast. Look at that. 195 miles per hour. I'm leaning on the right rear tire. Uh, I need to hit a 35-0. I'm nowhere near. I'm out. Oh, that's a 30... God damn. 36-27. 32nd place. All right, Jimmy Johnson. I'm coming for you. Here we go. Send it. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Ow. And that's that. All right. Well, completely scraped the right side off of my entire race car. Nice to know. I'm out of here. <laughs> I'm, and then you obviously have the Delta at the top left. This game was very good, guys. This game was very good. If I could have a, a modern-day version of this game, I would genuinely be very happy. Uh, NASCAR Inside Line has a special place in my heart. I still think it's better than NASCAR 14. I don't know. It's just in my opinion. This game was really, really awesome uh, with just the horsepower and the way the cars drove. I just really, really liked it. But, uh, yeah, that's 32nd place for me. I, I absolutely suck. Uh, would, I probably should actually work on those setups. I'm with uh, Lana Castle and Eric Almirola Al while uh, the, uh, the the champion Jimmy Johnson. Martrix Jr. in the 56th in second place. Yo, you're not in the 78 yet. Calm down, Truex. Oh, the game gave me the head start. Oh, wait, don't, don't, please. I'm already one row ahead. I'm not supposed to be next to Danica Patrick. Hi, Danica. How's it going? All right, let's go. Uh, where is... Eh. Oh, yeah, you can change your brake bias. I don't know if my camera's going to be blocking that on the bottom right of the screen because I don't know where I'm going to put my green screen yet. But you can change your brake bi bias as well, which was a big deal. Brake bias was a big deal on this game. You had to know, like, what to use and what would get you loose and stuff. And, oh, my God, we're actually making up time. Am I actually still good at this, good at this game? I don't know. This game's not unfair. This is actually a good game. All right, lift, 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 lift. All right, get back on the throttle. Nice. You can see. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, no, I'm sliding. No, 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 no. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, apparently, I'm not good. 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 I'm sliding. I'm sliding. Oh, God. Ow. All right. We're, that's a restart. That's a restart. That's a restart, guys. That's a restart. Look, just getting used to the physics again. You know, just... It, I, I couldn't feel that right rear tire. You know, I need to feel it in my, like, buttocks. And I couldn't really feel it in my buttocks. So, completely fine i'm actually good at this game i promise i'm not actually bad at these games I'm, i am good trust me this game i was definitely very good i was oh, look at this head start i got that's incredible oh, i forgot to even mention the little the hud indicator at the bottom i didn't use it a lot i use the mirror more often but at, at plate racing that actually was a pretty important thing to use so that's my opinion uh all right i'm actually i'm gonna try and win this race here we go here we go come on come on come on i got this i got this i got this. get the hell out of the way jamie mcmurray that's a very nice pain for me all right don't abuse the right rear tire don't abuse the right rear tire just nice and easy nice and easy he was getting a little bit loose but we're fine all right i'm gonna go switch into my where's my camera right here this camera view is still so amazing so this is the best camera view in my opinion to to play the game just because you're able to really feel the race car this is my opinion. Uh, you, everyone else has their own opinion, but you go feel the race car, hit your marks. See, I'm going 184 miles per hour. Did not clear the car on the outside. He's still there. So that's what I mean. Some really good racing, really fast racing, a lot of horsepower. Going 200 miles per hour right now. 204, 205. Oh boy. I'm not. I'm. By the way, I'm not touching the brakes. It's telling me to brake, but I'm not touching the brakes. That's what I mean about using that indicator as kind of like a a reference point of you know when to get on the throttle and when to get off the throttle. Uh, the draft is insane. We're going, ooh, boy. 200 and tw 13. 213 miles per hour in turn one. Ooh, boy. <clears throat> Don't hit the wall. Don't hit the wall. Don't hit the wall. Nice. And then here comes, I want to say Lugano, but it's not Lugano. Here comes Sam Horner Jr. All right. Hi, hi Hornish. But already three laps into this race, and it's just so much. This game is so good, man. I don't. I really don't have a lot of complaints from this game. This game is so good. Brings back a lot of memories. Oh, God. Don't hit that safer barrier. My God. Oh, someone's in the wall up there. Uh, that checked up the field. Hello, Mark and Hornish. I'm going to go underneath you guys. Thank you. Uh, hey, give me some room. 
Give me some room. All right. Ooh, boy. Ooh, boy. Where are they? All right. They're there. You go, I'm looking at my little HUD indicator. That HUD, that HUD indicator, or the radar, I keep calling it HUD indicator. The radar uh, on the bottom of the screen was, it, it, you know, to be fair, yeah. Pretty useful. All right. These guys are actually genuinely very fast. I need a setup. <laughs> I'm just chilling at 20 seconds because I can't, I can't get around them. I drove it in way too- Oh, no! Yo, 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 that's my brother. That's my brother, Kurt Bush, that just decided to obliterate me. Okay, that was very unfair, Kurt. He literally just wrecked me. I can't believe I saved that. Look, I got the scars in the left rear of my car. Yo, Kurt, that was unnecessary, bro. That was very unnecessary. I don't, I don't, I don't like that. Oh, God, my tires suck. Whoa! Okay, I came down on him. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, my God. Ooh, boy. Yeah, I don't like that chase view because you kind of overreact to the way the car is. It, the, the right the right side of the car is yaws out. That's just how it naturally should drive. Trevor Bain, can you, like, let me go, please? I'm going to just get right on your door. And then Denny Hamlin's on my outside, my teammate. He's over there. Nice. All right. Oh, God. Hi. How's it going? All right. Side draft. Reverse side draft. Any type of side draft. Yeah, side drafting doesn't really exist on this game. But, I mean, to be fair, it makes it better anyways. There's nothing I can do. I can't go. My car is handling all right, but I, I'm getting smoked by by everyone here. I'm 27 plays for Kyle Busch. Yo, can I can I can I already go to RCR? I know I know I do it 10 years after this game, but like my God, I can't. I cannot compete. I cannot compete right now. Like they they're they are obliterating me. They're, oh, someone got on the wall back there. We're good though. Still still rolling. You can see how this game could be really good. You could have genuinely very good long races with this game. Um, there are definitely some tracks that are not ideal. I'm pretty sure Bristol is one of them. Uh, and the plate racing is very weird. Uh, there's pit stops. I'm guessing people will have to pit. I have 12 laps of fuel remaining. That was another thing. You have the, the, the fuel gauge in the bottom right that tells you basically exactly how much fuel you have. You could save fuel because you have a clutch button on this game. So you could put the clutch in, uh, and, and save fuel that way, which is really, really cool. So there's some fuel mileage races as well. I wonder if everyone is going to pit. Yeah, it looks like they are, because they're slowing down. Ooh, boy. They're slowing down. Who's who's coming down pit lane? Oh, no, they're not. Okay, I don't know what's going on. There's a mass. I just I just gave this game credit for being able to do long races, but holy crap, we have just obliterated them. Hello, Joey Logano in the 20. Long time no see. All right, see you later, guys. That's seven free spots. I am in P21 now. I thank you. Wow. Okay, I don't know what caused that. Yo, Case Kane, please don't come back. You're in that five car. You sucked in that five car. Just stay there. Yo, Kurt. Kurt, relax. Relax yourself, Kurt. You already hit me once. Relax yourself. So aggressive. He just slid right in front of my nose. Oh my, you know what? Just because he's my bro doesn't mean I gotta be nicer. If I if I get back to him, I'm wrecking him. Ow! <laughs> Trevor Bain just doored me. Yo, these guys are aggressive. Okay. All right. Uh, my windshield's a little bit dirty. Uh, oh, and yeah, on the bottom of the screen right there. Uh, if you have a blue indicator, and that means the person behind you is going to help you in the draft. So that's that's also very important. I like tracks like Daytona and Talladega. I have no grip in my right front tire. I'm overheating my right front tire. It's as overheated as, as, as putting a cake in a toaster. I mean, I don't know what happens if you put a cake in a toaster, to be fair. But it's about as overheated as that. All right. Uh, can I at least protect the bottom lane? Yeah. There we go. Protect against my teammate. Pit stops. Pit stops. Pit stops. People are pitting. Here's my free spots. Thank you. All right. Here's one. Kurt, I didn't appreciate what you did. I'm gonna give you a little love tap. Two, three, and four for Mark Martin. Thank you. Up in a P17, I might be able to salvage a decent finish out of just absolutely nothing, because I absolutely suck right now. Okay, come on, turn it, turn it. Nice. I mean, I'm, I'm not that bad. Yo, know, Jeff Burton doesn't have a right front fender, and he's on. What the heck? Yo, can you not, please, please? If the draft actually really worked on this game, you would have killed me by now. Ow. I have a right front tire down. I have a. I taught. I just spoke too soon. Right front tire is down. NASCAR is not going to throw the caution, even though I obliterated the wall. I feel like Kevin Harvick from the Atlanta race, where I got spun. They didn't call the caution. Okay. That. Uh, you know, can I? Can I get a caution, please? Please. Uh, this is not. I don't think this is fair. I'm being completely honest. All right. Fine. Uh, that was unnecessary, Jeff Burton. I'm, I gave you enough room, but. Okay, ah, eh. I'm actually going to try and bring this thing down pit lane. Come on, come on, come on. All right, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down. 
Uh, 55 miles per hour. There we go. All right, four tires and fuel. Uh, repair the damage. Actually, my car performance is 97%. We're just gonna leave it at a no. Uh, let's see. Let's gonna. You know what? Let's 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 put a rubber. We're gonna add a rubber in the right side. It's gonna put to a 20 second stop. Well, I need to be a little bit looser. Wedge. We're gonna go down to a four, uh, 48.42. And track bar. We're going up to a 5.7. I'm probably gonna spin out now, but I mean, I have a right front tire down and I'm lap down. So. Yeah, pit crew, you do a 20-second pit stop, pit crew. Uh, it, don't, don't just fix the car if you can. Like Jeff Burton ruined our day. I mean, there's even, like, little brake dust that comes out of the car as well when you take the front tires off. I just, I appreciate details like that. All right. Um, well, I'm two laps down in 43rd place. Uh, the right side of my car is still absolutely destroyed, but hey, it's about the vibes, you know? It's not about actually trying to win. It's about, you know, just competing. Although, I would like to actually do well in one of these videos. Like, I genuinely feel like I just look awful now. You guys probably think I can't even play these games. I can. I just I just have bad luck. I would say loosening up the car was a good decision. I just ran my fastest lap of the race at 36.45. So, yep, I just had to loosen the car up because I'm, I'm flying now. I may, maybe I would have had something for the leaders. Okay, now I'm not. I, I Oh, my God, the right front tire. Oh, my God. <laughs> Alright, I'm sorry, right front tire. I'm destroying you. I'm not giving you any life at all. I'm sorry. But again, that, that was the good thing about this game. Like, you, when you would play this and you try to, like, you were running league racing because that was a huge thing on this game. It mattered, saving your tires. Like, working on the setups. It all mattered. So, that's, that's why this game was so awesome. The offline, there's some bugs here or there, but the actual driving of this game, top quality. Genuinely, top quality. I really, really liked it. I wonder, can I DNF on this game? I don't, I don't really remember. Up, <laughs> oh my god, ow. Okay, I guess not, because I just absolutely destroyed the one. Why am I in pit road? Uh, can I control my car? Jimmy Johnson won. I can control my car in pit lane. Ow, hold on. We're just gonna get this going the right way. One second, one second. That's the start finish line. Am I gonna cross in? That's it? Yep, that's it. Nice. 43rd place. Beautiful. Great job, Cobblish. Great job. Did very well. I just realized NASCAR races at New Hampshire this weekend. So, I'm pretty sure you guys in the comments have already said, like, hey, Dumbass, who, they're racing at New Hampshire, not at Michigan. Yeah, um, <clears throat> I don't know why I thought they were racing at Michigan. I don't... Why did I think they were racing at Michigan? I don't understand. Okay. Um, I, I, I don't know what's wrong with me, but yeah, they're racing in New Hampshire. Well... I'm smart. Uh, okay, so I suck this Kyle Bush, which means I have to go ahead and use KC Beautiful Kane. I have an idea that he will make me better in the HendrickCars.com Chevy, and I might as well do, just do a plate race, right? Might as well. Uh, just show you guys what it's like. Uh, we'll do a nice little 16 lapper at Daytona. Um, hmm, should I qualify? You know what? I will qualify. I want to see. I want to see if I if I can compete. Can I compete? We're going to do it one time because I don't want to come down pit road. Uh, can I, oh, and visual only, I don't want to deal with, you know, uh, visual, tires, brakes, and engine, yes, that's, that's what I want to use. Uh, can I actually qualify well at Daytona? If I can't, it's not looking good. I forgot, you can apply qualifying setups, preset qualifying, preset, probably should have done that for Michigan, yeah, I forgot about that part, I'm a little bit dumb, just a little bit, apologies. Alright, now that I got the preset qualifying setup in, I'm putting this baby on pole. This is a Hend if, yo, Hendrick car. By the way, it does have the, the, the Super Speedway package. You can see the spoiler is different. Uh, a little bit boxier Super Speedway package we have here. So uh, it does have that. It is time to put this thing on pole position at Daytona. Let's go. Oh, crap. I'm only four tenths faster on lap two. What the heck? No. I'm so far off. Oh, my God. 43rd. You got to be out of your mind. What the hell? 43rd? I'm about to start looking up all the setups again, and then, you know what? I'm going to come back and beat everyone's ass. Damn. All right. Plate racing on this game is a little bit weird, to say the least. Uh, this was, <clears throat> as you guys know, 2011 slash 2012. What era was that, ladies and gentlemen? You know it is tandem drafting. Yes. So uh, we had the tandem draft era, so you need to find a partner and dance with them as much as you can. That's essentially what this era was. Instead, I'm not going to win this race because I'm all the way back in 43rd, but... Uh, yeah, I essentially need a drafting partner, so I'm going to go on the search for someone that will go on to a, a prom date with me at Daytona. Anyone want to go on a date with me, please? Please? Anyone? Just someone want to uh, let me push you, please? 
Robbie Gordon, you're my first date. Just going to give you a little bit of a shove, and then you're going to pull away from me because you don't want to be near me. All right, understandable. Uh, it is a pack race for now, but it will it will spread out. This is definitely going to spread out eventually. Um, for now, it's going to stay a pack, and then you're going to find the, the two-by-twoers. Everyone's going to go two-by-two two over time. I'm going to just keep my momentum. We're going 203 miles per hour. Oh, my Lord. Oh, boy. We have fastest lap as well. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. All right. All right. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Right there. Hello. Roll tide for Clint Boyer. Oh, my God. The rear end of my car is all over the place. Whoa. Whoa. Hold your line. Hold your line. Hold your line. Hold your line. There we go. We're good. We're good. Jeff Burton. Hello. All right. We're going to give Truex a little shove. Nice. You want you want to be partners? No? All right. I'm out of here. See you later. Oh, oh boy. Yo, he tried blocking me. You saw that? That was nonsense. All right. Still a pack. I'm a little bit surprised by that. Why is my car so loose? Oh, my God. It's loose, but it's fast. Holy crap. All right. I might be able to win this race. You know, I'm going to show you guys. I'm actually good at this game. Let's go. We're still moving. Still moving. Still up. Oh, now we're starting to separate a little bit from the back markers. All right. I'm going to check up here. Take it nice and easy. Hold the line. Hold the line. Come on. Hold the line, man. Maybe it's my controller. I have to actually get, like, a real 360 controller, not, like, these knockoffs. Because maybe the knockoff is affecting my driving abilities. Is, is it really the I don't know. All right, Denny Hamlin, can you... Yeah, just going to fall in behind you. It's fine. Oh, oh, wait. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Don't hook myself, please. Oh, God. Oh, God. No, 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 no. No. Ha, ha. I got you guys. <laughs> oh, I only have two retries. All right, well, I'm going to use one of them. All right, thank you, Rewind Feature. You're the best. Appreciate it. All right, really needed that there. Oh, boy, stay off my teammate this time. Nice. All right. Whew. Thank you, Rewinds. Oh, here we go. Now people are starting to tandem up. All right, I need a, I need a partner. I need a partner, please. Ryan Newman has teamed up with, uh, I think that's Kurt Busch there, or Kevin Harvick. I can't really tell. Uh, we have Gordon and Tony Stewart as a partnership. That's Kevin Harvick there. There's Gordon and Tony Stewart. They're partnered up. I'm out of here. See, I, I don't even need a partner. I'm fast enough on my own. You guys are all bums. All right, who we got here? We got Jamie McMurray. Jamie Mack, you got a buddy? It looks like you do have a buddy. I'm going to pass you. All right, so, yeah, at Daytona. Oh, my God. What the heck? I am flying along. GameStop 20, Joy Logano car, underrated paint scheme. Hello. All right, actually, now I need, I, need, I need a partner, please. I mean, maybe I can pull myself up there behind Carl Edwards. Maybe, but they're two-by-two two tandems up there. I don't think I can get there. I'm gonna need some help. Yeah, I'm gonna need some help. All right. Uh, hey, you guys, you guys. I'm gonna need you guys to catch up with me, please, please. Logano, come push me. Logano, please don't have a partner. You do. All right. I mean, yeah, I'm just gonna let you go. Here, you go. You go ahead if you want. Or do you want to help me? Oh, that just got them loose. All right. Well, here comes uh, Jamie McMur. Uh, not Jamie McMurray. Juan Pablo Montoya. All right. Uh, Juan Pablo, do you want to help me? I just need someone to push me, please, please. Blue, blue. Turn blue on the the in, on the radar. Turn blue. Turn blue. Oh, God, wait, wait, where did Logano come from? Oh, my God, Logano's coming back. He's getting a massive shove from, I think that's Bobby Labani in the 47. It is. All right, uh, I just need to get my way up here. Oh, God, Kevin Harvick's, or no, that's Kurt Busch working with Jeff Gordon. Uh, can someone please dance with me? I don't have a partner. <laughs> I need a partner. Guys, Hornish, someone. Can I get a Hendrick teammate or something? Please, Dale Earnhardt Jr., do you want to work with me? Tony Stewart, you know what, Tony Stewart, I got you. Actually, no, you're too slow. Bye. <laughs> I'm not checking up for that. All right, Dale Jr. I'm going to go get Dale Jr. So, oh, God. Hornish. Hornish is trying to stay with Jr. I'm not going to. Oh, he, okay, he's, he's staying with him. You know what? We're going to turn this into a three-car tandem. Go, Hornish. Go. Get out of here. Come on, let's go. 203 miles. Oh, oh, he's, oh, where are we going? All right, I, I guess I'm following Kurt Busch now. Uh, and, oh, all right, you know what, Gordon? We're teammates. Let's do this. Oh, God. Oh, I almost got hooked in there. All right, Gordon, go. Yeah, uh, okay, yo, is he really this hard to find? I don't remember it being this difficult to find a drafting partner. Gordon, you ready? You ready, buddy? Text hunger to 50555. I probably did that, like, multiple times when I was a kid. Oh, my God. Almost got hooked by Montoya, but it's fine. All right, let's go. Let's go. There we go. We are working now. Come on, Jeffy G. Come on, Superman. Go to the bottom. Nice. That's, I knew I could count on you, Mr. Gordon, sir. Oh, you're beautiful. Yo, yo, stop hitting the brakes. Go, come on, come on. Oh, yep, get Hornish Jr. out of the way. You know, just doing a little bit of a reverse side drafting. All right, come on. Come on, I actually want to win this race, please. I need you to get around these two. Let's go, come on. Jeff, I'm going to need you to make the move now. Jeff, Jeff, don't make me leave you. Don't make me leave you, Jeff. All right, I'm leaving you. That's it. I can't. You want to sit back there? I'm not going to do it. Bye-bye. 
All right, let's get uh, Bobby Labani either past Logano or out of the way. We're going to get him out of the way. Out of the way, and that's going to leave us with Logano. And Logano is going to leave us for Labani. Wow, wow, wow. I really can't get any help, can I? That's just very unnecessary. You did not have to do that. Logano, can you please stay with me? Stay with me. Stay with me. Stay with me, you bum. No. Come back down. Come back down. Oh, my God. I can't. I've been trying for multiple laps to get a drafting partner, and no one wants to help. Look at this. Nobody wants to help me. I'm not getting blue indicators. Everyone. Why? Casey Kane is a good-looking guy. I'm not fully understanding. There we go. Jeff Gordon now wants to help me. Took long enough. Oh, my God. Oh, God. That's going to be tight. Oh, boy. All right. We're resetting that. Yep, yep. My final retry. That's, that's my last one, guys. Oh, man. I'm going to try the same move. Oh, I got it this time. There we go. All right. Hornish. Let's go. Come on, please, please, just keep keep foot in it, keep your foot in it, keep your foot in it, keep your foot in it. All right, you know what? Here you go. I, I I have to I have to get to one of these two. Or Hornish, you're gonna go low. You're gonna go low, Hornish. Are you gonna go low? No, you're just gonna stay there like a bum. Okay, wow, incredible. All right, get out of my way, Labani. Break you two up. Come on, Logano, come down. Logano, come down. Logano. I mean, that's not Logano. That's Hornish. Damn it! I keep forgetting. Damn it. No, that is Logano. Oh, my God. I keep getting them confused. Oh, my Lord. I don't know why. I just see the 22, and I immediately think Joey Logano, and then I see the 20. I'm like, Hornish. Why am I saying that? All right. Let's go. Please. Come on. Come on. Now we got this. Now we got our drafting partner. It only took 11 laps, uh, and the leaders are way gone. Can we catch them? Maybe. I mean, Logano's fast enough. We might be able to. You can see as soon as you get a drafting partner, you just absolutely leave the field behind you. It's more about just catching the guys in front. I think we will. I do think we will catch them. Uh, I guess we'll just see. I have to run fast lap times. Oh, yeah, we're definitely catching them. This is going to be the fastest lap of the race by a pretty good amount. It's going to be a 44-17. Logano runs faster. He runs a 44-15. And we are gaining on the leaders. Here we come. All right, I'm going to win this race, guys. I'm telling you. I'm finally going to end one of these videos with a race win i just have to focus because right now i think it is actually my knockoff controller i'm using like a 15 dollars controller from amazon and i'm pretty sure the left analog stick is weird because i'm starting to question why i can't really hold my line on this game i should definitely be able to hold my line on this game this is not this is not a challenging game to hold your line there we go I'm getting a little bit more comfortable just gotta slide up just a little bit make sure i don't hook them or anything slide up the track oh we're moving this is going to be in the 43s it's going to be a 43.87. Oh, we're flying. We are absolutely flying. 206 miles per hour. The leaders are right there. We're going faster this lap, too. Oh, my God. What an amazing dance partner you are, Joey Logano, in the 20 car. Not the 22 car. Back when you were still a young little lad, still learning. Oh, my God. We're two tenths up on this lap. My God, we're flying. Holy crap. We're coming to two laps to go, too. So I got to stick with Logano as long as I can. Uh, we have Carl Edwards and uh, someone, and then Kyle Busch and someone. I don't really know who the other someones are, um, but we just got to keep on mowing along. Oh, my God, this is going to be a 43.5 with the way. Holy crap. Crossing the start finish. I told you, six miles per hour. 43.55 for me, a 43.53 for Logano. I'm leaving Logano. I'm leaving him. I don't know if this is a good idea or not. Now I'm backing off. Back off. Uh, stay with Logano. Stay with Logano. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, that was a bad decision. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Logano. Come back to me. No, no, I didn't mean to leave you. Why did I do that? I thought I could just slingshot around. Logano, come back to me. No, please. Oh, stay close. Stay close. Stay close. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I got him. I got him. I got him. All right, all right. I got him. I got him. I got him. Logano, go low. Boom. Absolutely beautiful. It's Marcos Ambrose and Trevor Bain uh, with Carl Edwards and Matt Kenseth, I'm guessing. I'm guessing. I don't know. Come on. Go, Logano. Oh, I got him. No, come back down. Come back down. Come back down. Logano, please. Thank you. No, oh, don't clear me. Oh, fight it, fight it, fight it, fight it, fight it, fight it. No. No. Fight. Fight. Get back in the draft. Please. Logano. I need you. Logano, no. Hit the brakes, Logano. I can push you to the lead. Come on. I got this. I got this. Come on, please. Yo, watch you guys back away. No. No. I, I don't have the whiff. I don't have it. I don't have it. Oh, my control is vibrating a little bit. Logano, all you had to do was hit the brakes. No, I'm not going to win. Damn it, damn it, damn it. You bunch of Roush Fenway bums. You just keep pushing this whole time. You don't want to actually make a move for the win. Ay, ay, ay. 
Damn it, damn it, damn it. It's Carl Edwards and Kyle Busch, actually. What a... Man! Why did I leave Logano? Why did I leave him? I'm such an idiot. I should have just stayed with him. I don't know. Another day. Another winless... But that's NASCAR the game inside line. Uh, there's actually just a lot more to this game, obviously. I don't think I'm going to really come back to this much. But if you guys want me to, leave your comments down below. Show this video some support. support share it around. Uh, could do maybe like a one-off little... I, I did do this before. I don't know if it was on this game or if it was on another game. But uh, a little one-off 2012... Uh, what is it called? A 2012 Chase for the Cup. I could do that. And being as, as I raw I am in this game... Raw as I am in this game... Um, that'd be something interesting, but if you guys want me to do that, let me know in the comments down below. Uh, follow me on Twitter and if you're not already. I will see you guys tomorrow. Take care of yourselves and peace out.